Let's talk about the real reason you should drink lemon water every single day. Now, lots of regular folks may not know all the good things that lemon water can do for you, and also many good folks out there think that lemon water does certain things for you that it definitely does not do. I try to be, I try to be as polite as I can be on social media, except for Twitter. And this video is a response video to another video on YouTube that a very, very large health and nutrition influencer published that has over 11 million views. I try to make videos on YouTube that explain things to you simply, that give you meaningful, useful advice that you can immediately apply to your life. And that when you apply that, you'll notice immediate benefits. So when I saw this video, I thought, well, maybe I've missed something. And so I watched the video and I checked out the couple of research links in the show notes of that video. And I'm not going to name this person. I'm not trying to start a fight. I'm just trying to educate people as to what truly is going to benefit your health and what is a bunch of malarkey. I try to give you useful tips based on anthropological data based on common sense, based on the available meaningful nutrition research about that topic. And so I went to pubmed.gov and did some research about lemon juice and was wholly unimpressed with what I found there. One study was a randomized controlled trial in humans, but it was paid for by a company that makes lemon processing industrial equipment. You think they have a vested interest in you drinking more lemon juice? Of course. So most of the research is done in rodents, in animals, and is either barely applicable to human health and nutrition and physiology or not applicable at all. So in this video made by a creator who I'm not going to name, if you happen to know the name, you can type it in the comments below. I'm not trying to call anybody out. I'm just trying to educate you. So they they have this chart in their video showing all the benefits of lemon juice if you drink it every day. And they recommend the juice from a full lemon in which it, you need to know that's about two grams of carbohydrates. Even though lemons taste bitter or sour, they're full of sugar and all that sugar is going to raise your blood sugar, raise your insulin, all the things we talk about in our other videos. The average pH of, a lemon, of lemon juice is somewhere between two and 3.0, which is acidic based uh, compared to other less acidic fluids, but stomach acid is 1.5 to 2.0 on the pH scale. It's actually more acidic than lemon juice. So right off the bat, drinking lemon juice is not in any way going to make your stomach more acidic or, or make it more alkaline. It's really gonna do effectively nothing to your stomach acid. It's not gonna help with digestion. It's not gonna help get things going or, or move things along. It does, it's not gonna do any of that. You might as well drink water. So here's the chart that they show of all the benefits of lemon juice if you drink it every single day. Now, at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you the one benefit from putting a few drops of lemon in your water. There is a benefit, and I'll tell you what that is later in this video. But first, let's go over this chart that this influencer put up on their YouTube video. They got 11 million views. Now, you can just imagine me as a, as a family doctor. I'm trying to help people get healthier. And so there are 80% solutions, meaning that if you adopt this practice, it's going to give you an 80% benefit for very minimal effort and usually with not much cost expense. Then there's the 5 or 10% solutions that will help a little bit. There's research supporting it. It's ancestrally appropriate, but it's not an 80% solution. It's just going to help a little bit. And then there are these type things, which I call the 1% solutions that might improve your health 1% but it's going to be some effort and it's, there's going to be some cost involved. And in the meantime, while you're focusing on this 1% solution, you might be ignoring the 80% solution. So imagine someone, just a young person who's just found out they have fatty liver, they have metabolic syndrome, they're overweight, and they see this video that's been viewed 11 million times. And they're like, oh my God, lemon juice reduces fatty liver. I've got that. Okay. It, it also helps with, with metabolic syndrome, helps with cholesterol, it helps with weight loss, also anti-aging. Now this person is off down a rabbit hole thinking that lemon juice, if they drink it every single day, is going to give some magical benefit to their overall metabolic health. And that makes me sad 
because all the effort and time and expense they're putting into to juicing that fresh lemon, because you don't want to use concentrate, of course. You want to use fresh lemon juice. They're juicing a lemon. They go out and buy a bag of lemons, and they're doing this every day, and they're drinking it. Their teeth are getting on edge because of the citric acid in the lemon, but they ignore that. They've just focused on reversing their fatty liver. Do you see how that, that could be a problem for some people? And then after a month or two of drinking the juice of a whole lemon, every day, nothing has happened. They go back and see their doctor. They still have fatty liver. They're, they still have high triglycerides. They're still overweight. None of these benefits. Then they're like, well, screw it. This is dumb. I'm just going to eat whatever. Because obviously this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. And which is sad because this guy's got a lot of great videos on his YouTube channel. He's got thousands of videos. But the problem is, is he, that he knows what gets clicks. I know what gets clicks on YouTube, but I'm not tempted to make videos just because, oh, this will get a million views if I make this video. Apple cider vinegar is, a, is another great, that and lemon juice and talking bad about bananas and talking about any rare herb or root or berry that you can't get in the country you live in. If you make a video about any of that stuff, you're going to get a lot of views. If you'll go back and rewatch the part of this video that I tell you my goals, when I make a YouTube video, I obviously want them to help a lot of people. I want to get clicks. I want to get views. But I'm much happier as a YouTuber and as a family doctor in making sure that my titles are click-worthy, not just click-baity. And then when, I, when you watch my video, at the end of that video, I want you to go, I did not know that. Or I thought the opposite was true, but now I see the truth of this. That's my goal, not to just get your 30-second view and then you're like, oh, Okay, I guess I'll buy a bag of lemons. So let's look over this chart. Reduces fatty liver. Yeah, it doesn't do that in any meaningful way whatsoever. If you have fatty liver disease and you want to reduce fatty liver, then you need to lower your daily carbohydrate intake drastically down to at least under 50 total grams a day. Many people have to go under 20 total grams a day, some even lower to carnivore. If you want to reduce your cholesterol, then I've got several videos that you need to watch on this channel. If, if what you're talking about is reducing your total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol, you've got a false goal. You think that's a, a health benefit. You think that's a health victory if you lower your total cholesterol. I don't believe that's true, and I think the research does not bear that out. I've got other videos on this channel about this. Weight loss, you want to lose weight. If you want to lose weight, then you need to eat a diet that lowers your insulin level to as low normal a level as possible. This will unlock your fat cells and allow you to metabolize that fat and literally breathe that fat out of your body and pee it away in your urine. Drinking lemon juice will not help you with that at all. Okay, maybe 1%, probably not even 1%. Anti-aging effects. Who wants to age slower? Me. So you think drinking the juice from one lemon a day is going to help you age slower? Uh, no. If there were any credibility to that, there would be multiple research studies on PubMed.gov. There would be multiple, multiple Harvard PhD scientists trying to come up with a lemon extract that would actually that's been proven no this is foolishness anti-cancer effects now this is where it gets really worrisome with this video what if somebody's just been newly diagnosed with cancer and they type into youtube anti-cancer effects it's got 11 million views that on youtube that's credibility you're like oh my god it's got 11 million views i've got cancer i need to do this and you know what? I trust this guy so much, I'm just not going to do chemo or radiation. I'm not going to listen to my oncologist. I'm just going to drink up the juice from two lemons a day. That's got an anti-cancer effect. Yeah, he got 11 million views. He made some good money from this video. But is he really helping anybody? Reduces kidney stones. Maybe. Maybe. Probably not. If you're having repetitive kidney stones, the most common stone is a calcium oxalate stone. A lot of docs will tell you to reduce calcium, but what you really need to do is start eating a low oxalate or an oxalate-free diet. You can look that up if you want to learn more about that. Vitamin C. Lemons have vitamin C in them. Yes, they do. You can get an amount of vitamin C for two grams of carbohydrates, or if you just want to get some vitamin C, you can take a vitamin C supplement with, that has no carbohydrates. The benefits of vitamin C, again, are greatly overtouted, greatly overestimated. When I was a young man, I read a book by Linus Pauling. He, read, he won more than one Nobel Prize, and I bought it hook, line, and sinker because he was a Nobel Prize winner, and he said, if you take mega doses of vitamin C, and I did that for months, had diarrhea for months. Turns out Linus was very smart in his area of expertise, but when it came to nutrition, 
No, no. You need a little bit of vitamin C. Mega doses have never been shown to do anything except give you diarrhea. And finally, phytonutrients. Lemon juice has phytonutrients. Uh, yeah, so does coffee and tea. So if you want some phytonutrients, just drink a cup of coffee in the morning. Drink some, drink some tea for lunch. There's your phytonutrients. There's nothing magic about lemon juice. Nothing overly beneficial about lemon juice. I guess I would rather you drink lemon juice than a can of Coca-Cola. Probably, yeah, yeah. But as far as there being any additive health benefits, if you have a uh, the juice from one lemon every day, nothing's going to happen. That's the truth of the matter. And now, for my saying that, I probably won't get 11 million views on this video, which is fine. The few people that do watch it and that I do help not fall for foolishness like this in the future, I'll consider that a victory. Now, I promised I would tell you the one benefit of putting lemon juice in your water. So if you're drinking water, you know, you used to drink Coke and Pepsi and whatever, Mountain Dew, and you're like, God, I hate the taste of water. A great way to be able to drink the water you need is to use a sparkling water like San Pellegrino, Topo Chico, Gerald Steiner, Perrier, and to put four or five drops of fresh lemon juice in the sparkling water. It gives it a nice lemony flavor. It's not enough carbohydrates to matter, and it helps you drink the water that you need. That's the one and only benefit of drinking lemon juice. There is no other benefit for diabetes, for fatty liver, for cancer, for aging. It doesn't reduce your triglycerides. It doesn't raise your HDL. It's foolishness, okay? And so on YouTube, very often, if you sound credible and you say things with a straight face, gullible people will believe you. And that's what's going on with the 11 million people who watched this video from the creator whose name I will not mention. Hope this video helped you. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.